A huge reason as to why the Fighting Scots held on to their 31-27 victory on Saturday was the play of Burroughs' defense. A key player on that unit is senior linebacker Kyle Matula, who joins Mike and I on the Scott Sports Show. Kyle, how are you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you guys? We're doing pretty well. Good. I have to start out by asking, how much offensive, with how much offensive firepower Seton Hill had, did you think that defense would be the difference maker on Saturday? Well, I, I figured that we would have to make some plays and uh, keep our offense in the game. Like you and uh, Coach Browning went over, we forced a lot of turnovers, which helped. Um, we gave up a lot of yards, but the turnovers obviously helped us big time. 12 total tackles, uh, tying a career high. Also three pass breakups and then two onside kick recoveries. Just how big of a day was that for you and how exciting of an opportunity was that also being on that special teams unit and coming up with those big plays? Well, I didn't, I was basically just flying around on defense trying to get to the football. Um, there's not really much explanation for that. Uh, the two onside kicks were a little unexpected. I, uh, I've been on the hands team for about four years now and everybody kind of dogs me a little bit because I'm on defense and they say I don't have any hands and then I get two kicked right to me, I catch them both, so I, uh, I have a little bragging rights over everybody else on the team now, especially some of the offensive guys. Yeah, and if you don't get any on Saturday, you can say, you know, you ended your career batting a 1,000 in that category. Yep. So that's definitely bragging rights there. Now, he just rallied off the stats, all the tackles, the, the onside kick recoveries, the batted down passes, and that earns you uh, Scott of the Week this week. So d how great of a feeling is that to get that accolade in your penultimate game of your career here for Edinburgh football? It feels great. Um, one of the last two games of my career, it honestly feels good to uh, be recognized for some of my individual achievements, although the win was the most important thing that came out of it. Um, it's nice to be recognized as an athlete after having two knee surgeries and going through all the stuff that I've been through and being able to, being able to increase my level of play the past few weeks. We talked to Coach Browning about it, what this week is going to be like for the nine seniors in that senior class this week. As, as a member of that class, what is this week going to be like for you? Obviously, you already checked off the checklist, your final Monday practice. Mm -hmm. um, so what is, going, what is this week going to be like as each day just gets kick, ticked off the calendar and we get closer and closer to that final game of your football career? It'll be a little bittersweet. I've um, been playing football for 15, 16 years now. I can't really even keep track. But um, my body's taking its toll. It's uh, had its injuries and it'll be a little bittersweet ending to uh, this kind of chapter of my life. Coming into your senior season, what are some of the goals you had that you set for yourself and did you meet those goals now that we come into this final week of the season? Well, like I said earlier, with the two major knee injuries, my main goal for this season was to stay healthy and play all the games due to, um, and, and stay healthy. Um, I did that and then my next uh, my next goal was to be a starter, which I was, and then just to contribute to the team and uh, make a difference. Hopefully you can make a difference on Saturday, Kyle, as Millersville comes into Edinburgh for a noon kickoff on Saturday. Obviously their resume in recent years is not that impressive, but as Coach Browning was talking about, they have a new coaching staff that's in their second year. They just had a victory last week against Cheney. So this team is on the upswing. Defensively, what are, what are you, as, you as a leader, the unit, and defensive coordinator, Wayne Bradford looking at for this Millersville offense? Well, they like to, uh, they like to, to, to run the ball a little bit. They like to use their athleticism. Um, it's basically the same as every week. We just want to get as many guys to the ball as possible and force some turnovers and make a difference on defense. What is, what, how would you like to be remembered in your Edinburgh football career? As you said, your body's taking a toll. You obviously have your multi-skilled special teams defensively, all of that. You seem to fly around the field. Maybe you're the voice, the leader of that mm -hmm. team as well. How would you like to be remembered regardless of how Saturday turns out? I just want to be recognized as a hard-nosed football player with good character. Um, I try to carry myself out on the field as I would in, in uh, just a regular day, as I would coming in here. I just want people to realize that I'm a regular guy, and then when I step in between the lines, it's uh, something flicks, and I'm a totally different person. Hopefully when that flicks on Saturday, it's in their positive light yes. and it ends with a victory for your last game of your football career. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks for stopping by and we appreciate it and good luck on Saturday in the Thanks game. Thanks for having me.